Lumbar spine flexion extension x-rays are ordered to detect abnormal intervertebral motion. Doctors may fail to detect spinal instability if the x-rays are of poor quality. Lumbar spine flexion extension radiographs are of minimal value unless the patient flexes and extends sufficiently to allow for reliable diagnosis of intervertebral motion abnormalities. This video explains how to obtain a high-quality lumbar flexion extension radiographs using a validated protocol. This protocol requires this standard walker. It should not have wheels, and must have a front crossbar and lower side bars. The legs should be adjusted at number 3. The goal is to collect high-quality flexion extension x-rays that can be reliably used to detect intervertebral motion abnormalities. This requires very good patient effort when asked to flex and extend. Data from properly trained sites documents that symptomatic patients generally can maximally flex and extend if encouraged and assured that this will not hurt their back. Initially position X-ray equipment as for a standing flexion lateral lumbar spine X-ray. Use the exposure settings that are normally used at your facility for lateral lumbar spine X-rays. Place the walker in front of the bucky. If the patient is unusually short or tall, the height of the walker can be adjusted as needed. Position the patient for the flexion x-ray with their left side against the bucky and their thighs touching the front bar of the walker. This is important since it helps minimize bending at the hip joint and encourages flexion across the lumbar spine. Ask the patient to bend forward enough to allow for beam centering on iliac crest, expecting that the patient will bend forward more with your encouragement. The flexion x-ray should allow visualization of T10 to the lower sacrum. Ask the patient to bend forward as much as possible. Encourage them. Ask the patient to grab the lower bars of the walker. This is to assure that the patient is maximally flexing and not twisting or bending to the left or right. It is important to explain to the patient that it is very important that they bend forward as much as possible so that their doctor can determine if there is anything wrong with their back. It may hurt, but they only have to do this once, and it will not harm their back. Ask the patient to exhale and hold, then obtain the flexion x-ray. Position the x-ray system for the extension radiograph. Position the patient in extension with the walker behind the patient. The patient can grasp the walker behind them for stability. This also helps avoid twisting or lateral bending. Center the beam on the iliac crest. The flexion x-ray should allow visualization of T10 to the lower sacrum. It is important to clearly explain to the patient that it is very important that they bend backwards as much as possible so that their doctor can determine if there is anything wrong. It may hurt, but they only have to do this once, and it will not harm their back. Encourage them to round their back. Ask them to try and look at the ceiling. Ask the patient to inhale and hold, then, obtain the extension x-ray. Check the x-rays to assure that there is clear visualization of disc spaces from L1 L2 through L5 S1 in both the flexion and the extension x-rays. High quality flexion extension studies will allow the patient's doctor to detect any abnormal intervertebral motion that may be responsible for the patient's symptoms.